You know how you find the perfect product? It feels, smells, and just works amazing. And then suddenly, after a certain amount of time, your fave turns into your worst enemy. Let's talk about the reasons why this nightmare happens in the first place. Hey guys, my name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you too can join our community. Some of you may have experienced your product not working the same for you. It's very heartbreaking and <sighs> maybe next to the amount of sadness you feel when you bake a nail, the girls will know. <laughs> anyway, maybe your product isn't working the way that it used to, maybe it starts peeling or maybe it just doesn't feel the same, it doesn't feel right. In this video, we're going to talk about 10 reasons why your product isn't what it used to be. Reason number one, the most obvious reason of all, your product has been expired. Just like any great love story, this too must come to an end. Before buying a product, make sure to look at the expiration date before you buy it, or look for a symbol that is like an open jar and in that symbol you will find a well a uh, number <laughs> that will tell you the amount of months that product will be good for after you open it and use it for the very first time expired products will not work the same for you and it also can be very harmful for your skin it might even cause damage so be careful of expired products if your product have, has been expired, throw it away. Not worth it. Reason number two, you're not storing your products correctly. Environmental features such as direct sunlight, heat, or even humidity can cause your products to break down and for them to not work the way that they should. The same way that we have to store our food correctly, the same thing applies to our skincare as well. The instructions behind every product are there for a reason, so it's best to do what they say. Most dermatologists and specialists do advise you to store your products in the fridge. It is away from direct sunlight, it's cold, and for a bonus, you have that cooling sensation when you apply the product to your face. Reason number three. I remember a few years ago when I went to the dentist, he told me that I should change my toothpaste because, well, the bacteria in my mouth have, well, been used to that toothpaste that I've been using. Now, why did I say this? The same thing applies to your skincare as well. When you've been using a product for a certain amount of time, that product becomes a normal for your skin. So, if you want to get those results back, you have to change your product no matter how much you love it. Because, well, if you keep using that product, you're just going to waste money, time, and you're not going to get the results that you so desperately want. So it's best to change your product or you have to get a stronger product. Like what? Like when you're using an exfoliant or when you're using a retinol. After a certain time, your skin gets used to those ingredients, to that dose. So you have to up the dose if you still want to get the benefits of using a retinol or an exfoliant. Reason number four, your skin's needs have changed. Like what? Like when you change your environment and the weather changes, or even when the season changes, your skin changes as well. And when it does change, so does its needs. In another video, in my winter video that I will link down below in the description box if you want to check it out later, I have explained how our skin changes during the winter time and how we have to change our skincare routine to meet those needs in that specific time frame. For example, maybe you're using a product that is for oil production, you want to reduce the amount of oil you product, but when you're using it in the winter, your skin gets so dry and you're like, okay, why am I suddenly so dry? 
your skin is irritated and drier than it usually is because, well, it is winter. This is why we suggest to change your routine when the weather and when the seasons change so you can meet your skin's needs in every single season possible. Reason number five, maybe you're experiencing hormonal changes. This is something that every person with a female body is experiencing and every male has experienced at least one time in their life. Maybe you're going through puberty, maybe it's that time of the month, maybe you're growing a new life inside of your body. Whatever the reason is, hormonal changes can cause changes to your skin. One of the changes is experiencing acne and more oil production. So if you are experiencing hormonal changes and therefore changes to your skin, you need to buy products that are exactly what your skin needs in that time frame. This is why, again, we suggest to change your routine every now and then so you can target those new changes. Reason number six, maybe you're using a new medication. Maybe it's a pill or a new cream that is making your skin drier or even more irritated. These changes to your skin can make your products not work anymore. For this reason, it's best to consult with your doctor or your dermatologist and if these changes if these changes are too severe, it's best to again talk to your doctor so they can change your medication or maybe tell you what you should do to deal with it. Reason number seven. This one might be a bit of a shock because it personally was for me. Maybe you're not using your products at the right time. Let me explain with an example. Retinols are amazing products for anti-aging for just making your skin look great but if you use a retinol during the day it might get deactivated by the sun or it can it can even cause sun irritation and sensitivity to your skin so it is recommended to use a retinol before bed the same goes for other products as well. If you use them at the recommended time, then you will get the best results possible every single time. Reason number eight. This reason is pretty common, especially between the people that have just started their skincare routine. You're not consistent with your routine. Most skincare products need two to three weeks or even more to show any results on your skin as their makeup well, makeup can show their results instantly or at least in a few hours. You use a lipstick and you can, well, know if that color works for you, if you like the texture, if it's good or not, but it's not the same with skincare products. Skincare products need the time to affect your skin. And maybe the reason you're not getting the results that you want is because, well, you're not giving them enough time. These babies need time. Give them the time they need. Reason number nine, you are not exfoliating enough. Exfoliation is very important in your skincare routine. Why is that? Exfoliation happens when you remove a layer of dead skin cells on top of your skin. If you don't exfoliate, these layers will, well, pile up on top of each other. And well, when you use products, they won't penetrate your skin the way that they should. Less penetration results in less, well, results. If you want to see the results that you want, you have to exfoliate in order for your products to work the way that they should. If you're new to exfoliation, I suggest maybe starting with one to two times a week, but if you're not a newbie, do it at least two to three times a week. Your skin needs it. Finally, reason number 10. Worst case scenario, you purchase a knockoff product. Or maybe in a better scenario, the company just changed their formula. Change in formula, well, they try to change it to make it better, and it is better for most people, but sometimes it doesn't work for others. Maybe you're part of that very tiny percentage of people that, well, their skin just doesn't like the new formula. Sorry. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video.